Shah now been speaking together for 30 years. Yes. And when we started beekeeping, there was no Vroa. And then we heard about Vroa and we finally got Vroa some 20 odd years ago. And to begin with, we, we, we treated our colonies because that's what the message was at the time. And then as the years went by, we realized, I, I realized in connection with my building work that we were finding colonies in buildings and the colonies seemed to be fine. They were big colonies. Uh, there was grower in among them, but they were clearly surviving. Some were very large in the roofs of houses and you know, started to make us think about this. And then we also started to uh, be told about uh, supposedly wild colonies, colonies that were living on their own devices in trees and we started to study these and uh, we realized that um, they had varroa but they were surviving so we started to reduce the amount of treatment we were doing and then eight years ago we stopped treating some colonies some of our hives and uh, we still treated a few and the hives behind us here that we're going to uh, look into in a few minutes um, some of these won't have been treated for eight years uh, all the rest haven't been treated for seven years well, this hasn't been uh, looked at since last year so this is the winter debris how many <laughs> one Two. 18, 19, at least 20 odd, probably some have missed, but that's that's a winter's accumulation. The bees have obviously been keeping this bit of floor relatively clear, but when we first had Varroa, after a winter, the floor would be an absolute mass of Varroa. It's just a coincidence that we found this tree um, back in the, the early 1980s. But it was a few years later, in what about uh, 1998, when we first got Vroa. And we started to check on the tree because we re realised that, um, as far as we could tell, these bees were not dying out. And we then started to take a lot of interest in the tree and check it in the spring and they were bringing pollen in as it is today in uh, in March 2016 and we check it in the spring we check it in the autumn and to the best of our knowledge this tree with its bees has been here continuously since before Varroa. We can tell you for certain that we documented the bees uh, here in uh, 2012. That's five years that the bees have been living in this tree. But you may be able to see that uh, there's a child's swing and the owner of the tree, who uh, is, uh, has now got children of her own, uh, she remembers playing here as a child on the swing and uh, the bees have always been here. 